Hey guys, it's Shen with Get Fed. Ah, I'm a little tired this uh, afternoon, or is it morning? I think it's morning. God, I um, I was having fun with my kingdom spouse yesterday, so I was having lots of fun. But yeah, I'm just going to break off into the prayer before I get into the message of the day. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your love and your blessings. We thank you for encouraging us, um, giving us courage. We ask for discernment. We ask for wisdom. We renounce any spirit of negativity, hate, uh, sloth, laziness, distrust, uh, anger, jealousy, fear, uh, anything unholy under the sun we renounce it in the name of jesus okay some of you are like really funny in the comments god bless you i'm not a sensitive person so you're gonna have to try a little harder to make me cry okay um the i have all smiles and all joys once you've seen demons there's nothing that little humans like yourselves can like do to upset me that much so um, yeah, but I'm having a great time with my kingdom spouse. Things are go look like they're going uh, according to plan. Things look like they are blossoming. Um, and if they don't, then oh well, I've still got Jesus on my side. I'm still good. I'm still clean at the end of the day. I'm still, um, I'm, I'll count it all joy. But um, yeah, some of you guys were wondering, God, I had made it known when I started doing these videos that I um, was not a very good public speaker. I only know two languages. That's bad English and even worse English. <laughs> So you guys have to forgive me and I'm a scattered brain because I am an overthinker But um, that's one of my intelligences. So Okay, I'm gonna answer the question on whether or not Because um, the person was so quick to tell me about how to do my job or they weren't or I wasn't clear or anything You can always ask questions. That's good, but don't can focus on what I'm doing. Just ask your question What is your question? Um, the, uh, what you, what I'm guessing your question is because I didn't understand it so well that, um, the question was that should you keep pursuing a kingdom spouse when, um, it feels like all hope is lost, when it feels like it's not working, when it feels like, um, I'm not seeing anything, they're not, um, they are not uh, contributing to my needs. It's going south, right? Okay, what we need to do with that is we need to ask ourselves, we need to be in acknowledgement with ourselves and we need to know who ourselves are, is, right? We need to know, is it, is it us that, did we do something to make this person mad? Did we do, are we had being prideful? Are we being prideful? We need to, as soon as we go down the checklist of whether or not it's us, because I know with my kingdom spouse that a lot of our problems were because of me. And I dealt with that. I was a boss and uh, said that all of that was, you know, my issue. And I dealt with that and I cleared it up. So we really need self-awareness is the first part on whether or not you should know whether or not you can should continue um, with the um, with your kingdom spouse because a lot of people are seeing their kingdom spouse latch you know kind of grr at them and giving them not so good responses and things right and so um, with, with the the attachment styles the fearful avoidant and the anxious attachment style you have to learn that these people process um, they process information differently than us. That means that they go more on their experiences and things and their experiences haven't been that well. So you have to see it from the person with the attachment styles point of view, which is they don't have the highest self-esteem. They have lower self-esteem um they you know and things like that so you have to really be aware okay is this something it's me or is it them because a lot of times we want to say it's them but it's really us and so the lord was telling me that 
you need to be more patient. The Lord is working with me on my patience because I'm a spoiled brat. I usually get most of the things that I want out of life that I want. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't want many, many like expenses or lavish things, but I do get what I want most of the time, you know? So, um, it's not because I'm not trying to boast or anything. I'm just saying that uh, I have made good decisions in life that would lead me to where I'm going and things like that. And I'm going to continue to make decisions. So it's always best that we have to acknowledge whether or not we're doing something, whether or not the Lord is trying to grow us in uh, patience, virtue, or whatever it is that he's trying to grow us up. Because when we come across circumstances and things that make us mad or make us angry, God is trying to reveal something in you that you need to change. And so uh, I can't get up here and tell you what's what. And I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know the future like that. I'm sorry. Um, but it really breaks God's heart that you guys want to come here and, um, and ask instead of asking him. And so we really need to work on that, people, because God is 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 not going to talk to you in difficult ways there's not going to be some fire and brimstone out of the cr uh, clouds there's not going to be any more writings on the tablets or writings on the wall anymore it's not going to be any of that he's doing this in very um logical but not so logical ways we have to catch them so when you're dealing with people who have attachment and uh, unhealthy attachment styles and things like that, you have to see where they're coming from. Now, if you um, are a person who's selfish in that instance, the Lord is probably telling you, okay, I need you to see it from their side. But the Lord doesn't want you to wait forever. So if you're waiting on a person and they're not communicating with you, I waited, I didn't see my kingdom spouse for four to five months. I, we were barely talking. It was four to five months I had waited and I just saw him yesterday. So things went really well. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, you can't, um, you have to really think of whether or not it's you or your kingdom or your kingdom spouse because a lot of the stuff is it's like both of us it can be both of you but if you're unwilling to work on it with your kingdom spouse and he they're unwilling to work on it with you you got a problem you need to make sure enough time has passed i don't know how much time works for you you know um I, you need to know how much time has passed. I just know that the Lord told me I was supposed to be single for two years, that I could court, uh, no, you know, or just be friends. The Lord was telling me to be friends with my kingdom spouse and to even see if I like him. And the truth is, I still like him very, very much. And so, um, yeah, but you got to um, really put that into... You really pe fearful avoidance and attachment styles have past traumas, whether you're the past trauma that they're trying to get over or have put up some sort of um, block or wall against because I don't know if you guys know my story. I cheated on my kingdom spouse. 13 years ago before I was even married because I was a ma I was married then I became a widow four years ago but my kingdom spouse after my husband died called me and that's how this whole thing started so um um you know but you have to really see it and it all goes back to you do you want to work for this relationship because it's not going to be sunshine and giggles trying to be restored it's not it's going to be ugly and so you can't go over there being like oh my god it's going to be roses and I what do I need what do I need what do I you can't do that it's not about what you need it's about getting the job done for Christ what he wants you to do for the kingdom what you and your spouse are supposed to do for God's glory, not for what you need. We need to get out of what we need and get into what God wants us to do. God will tell you what you need. God will tell you which steps to go on, what to do. You know, so I'm not a fortune teller. It really breaks my heart, but I'm going to do another video today on divine decision making. But I just wanted to say that, but that with people from with attachment, unhealthy 
attachment styles because secure is a, um, you can have a secure attachment style. I am now a secure attachment style. Um, coming from being an anxious attachment style and stuff like that. So you just really have to put things in perspective and remember that these people have gone through past traumas, whether it's you, whether it's family that gave them that trauma, they still have it and they still have a hard time navigating themselves through the world and that's where my other video came from they need you that a lot of people are being called to be beacons of hope to be um to help their kingdom spouses who are emotionally unavailable because god not only hears us he hears the emotionally unavailable person's silent prayers and silent thoughts that the emotionally unavailable person doesn't think that the lord hears so we have to just keep that in mind. But I just wanted to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, for I love the haters too. I love y'all. Okay. So if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, could you please consider doing so and joining the Get Fed family where we want more than manna. We want to get fed. So I'll be doing some more videos later. But I love you guys so much. And um. I just hope to see you later. I am. And uh, God bless. And just not every prophetic word is for you. Please take it back with the Lord. I'm going to do some more videos later on how to hear the voice of God to make clear decisions. Because guys, I can't make the decisions for you. God's not going to make the decisions for you. Okay. I can only give you kind of like an idea of what he wants you to do. I don't know your circumstance like that. And I'm not a fortune teller. Okay, but I love you guys and till next time. Bye.